Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to Seal Mall type run of EV Emerald. Last time we crossed over to the eastern side of Hoenn, grabbed a bunch of berries, and beat some trainers. Now we continue our journey north. And, well, first I'm going to show you a little trick. So, with the Acro Bike, you can go out on these little white paths. If you want to jump across, you hit B and a direction on the D-pad simultaneously. So I hit B and up at the same time to do this. And that's... This lets you take shortcuts or get to places you can't normally. There's only a couple places you can do this. Um, this route being one of them, and the other being the Safari Zone. It's, it's not that useful. Alright. Now we can't go any further, so... You have to get the timing right, or else you're just gonna do a wheelie. And here we encounter a Pokémon Ranger! Of course, Generation 3 was also the, uh... Well, well, yeah, this technically marks the debut of Pokémon Rangers. Although the spin-off games technically... Well, those start in Generation 4, technically speaking. Actually, no, they don't. The D They started on the DS, but the Generation 4 games proper weren't out yet. Because... The DS came out in, was it? I think it was 2005 is when the original Nintendo DS came out. And the DS is what killed the Game Boy brand, pretty much. Down you go. Ooh, we're not gonna bother with healing paralysis. We're gonna switch you out. Yeah, I don't think you were prepared either. Okay. So let's switch you out. Oh, so yeah, I grabbed Striper from uh, PC. And we'll bring Magneton up to level 40, and then after that, the next priority is going to be evolving Agron and Matang. Oh, Laram to Agron and Matang into Metagross. which will happen at level 42 and 45, respectively. Oh, fuck off! Don't want to risk triggering Effect Spore, so we're just going to use Thunderbolt again. I don't think he had any know-how, to be frank. Considering all you did was just spam Mach Punch the whole battle. Oh, Calcium, right. Let's use that on you to boost your special attack. Yeah, expect to see a lot of bird keepers and Pokemon Rangers on this route and the next couple of routes after Fort Tree City.
which means you're going to be fighting a lot of flying types and a lot of grass types. A lot of good that did you. Life's not fair. Get over it. Okay, so... Up here we have another one of these mudslides. If we had the mock bike, we could take a shortcut, but we don't. So, instead, we gotta take the long way around through the grass. And yeah, by the way, you can't run through the grass and you can't ride your bike through it either. So, yeah, that's annoying. There's a ninja boy. And a Kindler. Not gonna do any good, dude. If I recall correctly, the moose set a move. Well, because of course I've used Ninjask on a couple of my monotype runs. The move set I found was most effective in Gen 3 was Swords Dance, Baton Pass, and then either Slash or Aerial Ace. Because Slash, you can crit, or Aerial Ace, which gives you the same type of attack bonus and never misses. I guess it all depends on whether you want more power up front, or you want the chance to potentially do even more damage. And then as your health gets low, you can just swap out and give all that power to a different Pokémon. Surprisingly? <laughs> You're surprisingly terrible. Andres! Uh... Oh, I don't need your permission to mock you, sir. <laughs> and there's one more trainer up here. Tropius. That is a Pokemon you can find in this route. It's rare, though. And it is, to my knowledge, the... Well, at the time it was introduced, as the only grass type that can learn fly. I don't know if it's still the case, but... Yeah. You could fly around on it. And... Hmm. Well, I think there's trouble. Yep. Team Mach was here. So we're going to use this bed over here to heal, and we're coming up on 10 minutes, so I'm just going to cut real quick. And we're back! Yeah, you did lose. Make me.
Nope, didn't pick anything up. And we're actually going to switch over to Laron, because we're only two levels away from evolving. The Pokemon they're talking about is Cast Form. There's actually something I gotta say about that when we go and get it. It has to do with the rules uh, for my Monotype runs. I actually hinted at this back in the very first episode. We won't be using it in this Monotype, but it bears mentioning in case I do another one of these and I do decide to use it. It's kind of interesting. It's like, it's the Weather Institute. So what are they studying here? More ways to be wrong at predicting the weather? Then again, even a weatherman has a better track record than the average economist nowadays, I suppose. Like, who's that guy? What's his name? Krugman? Yeah, I think it's Krugman. Uh, pro tip when it comes to investments. Always do the exact opposite of what Paul Krugman advises, because pretty much everything he says is the exact opposite of what ends up happening. I don't know, kind of a random topic to talk about in a Pokemon playthrough of all things, but eh. As I'd said before, this is an unscripted series. I'm just saying whatever comes to my head. Shoot my consciousness. If you've ever read Hunter S. Thompson's work, you'll know what I'm talking about. And here's Shelly. So yeah, those of you who've only ever played the remakes may not have known that at one point, Shelly was white and a redhead. Oh, you're gonna regret that, sweetie. That's what I got this thing for! Bye-bye! And you're just disgusting. And this is how you get cast form. So, what I was about to say earlier about cast form is, uh... Well... The thing with cast form is that in later generations, it changes its type based on the weather. In, in bright sunlight, it becomes a fire type. 
In hail, it becomes ice type. In rain, it becomes a water type. That does not happen in Gen 3. However, I do permit myself to use cast form on monotypes of a relevant type, provided I do everything I can to keep it in the appropriate form. So, basically, if, if I send it out, I have to immediately try and change the weather. Oh, yeah. Then there's uh, Mystic Water, which boosts your Pokemon's uh, uh, water-type attacks. And, fun fact, this is considered a guaranteed held item, so if you hack the game to be able to catch Castle in the wild, it should always be holding um, another Mystic Water. And anyway, we're going to heal again, and we will cut to outside of the Weather Institute. And we're back. Now, as we can see, Team Aqua's out of the way. But there's a couple other things we can do. First, let's go down here. Let's use this Super Repel, because otherwise we're just going to run into water types out the ass. There's a max other up here, or either, whatever. And you can keep going down south. There's a couple other items you can get. So here, you get an Ultra Ball. And a Leaf Stone, the only one in the overworld. And that's it for items down here. Because now we gotta go back north. And guess who shows up again? It's our rival. Oh babe, you have no idea what you're getting into. Ouch. Down you go. Okay, yeah, we're not going to give you that chance. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, Water Pulse can occasionally confuse you. Oh, fuck off, Wilmer! Yeah, that's what I thought. Level up, just one more level to go. In fact, I think we'll... You know what, we'll evolve Laron before this episode ends. Hmm. Fuck it. YOLO! Bless your heart. Hey! 
And there goes the battle. Acha, huh? Who, who talks like that? And this is how you get Fly. Of course, we can't use it yet. We need the next gym badge for that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and heal real quick. Be right back. Or, oh, never mind. Our stalker's here again. Okay, now we'll cut and go. Anyway, moving on now. There's a couple more trainers on the way up. And by the way, that path to the left, there is an item at the end, but we can't enter there. Because there is an invisible Kecleon blocking the path. We'll get an item next time to deal with it. I may have to switch in Skarmori after if it gets too evasive. We'll see. Never mind. That'll fry it. And there's another Kepion here, I think. Yep. One more trainer. There's some berries. Down you go. Bye-bye. We're not quite there yet, but we will before the end of the episode. Let's get these berries real quick. And we're just going to skip ahead to after I do a little bit of grind. And that should do it. Yep, level 42. And it's time for Laron to reach its final form. Say hello to Agron. And what a great high note to end that on, right as we enter Fortree City. We're going to call this an episode here. If you like what you see, leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. Next time, we're going to be getting the Devon Scope and taking on the gym. See y'all next time.